Welcome back students to the video lecture series. I am Adil Mansuri from Civil Engineering Department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. So dear students, up till now we have covered several topics like background of water supply scheme, right? Then facts from uh, certain facts from United Nations, classification of water on the surface of the earth, then layout of uh, water supply scheme and components of water supply scheme then types of water demands, then variation in water demands, then design period, then intakes and conveyance of water. Today we are going to start with a new topic and the name of the topic is population forecasting, right? So you might have a question, what is the meaning of population forecasting, right? So the process of determining the future population is known as population forecasting right now you might have a question how many types of estimates are there so the answer is one short term estimate which varies for one to ten years and long term estimates which varies for 10 to 50 years or more right then another question that might occur in your mind is does population remain constant so as we all know that it does not remain constant it changes constantly right so what are the different factors which are responsible for the change in population right so first one is the deaths second one is the births and third one is the migration since birth and death are natural processes it is not at all in our hands right but migration is limited to the economic opportunity right that is for example if there are more job opportunities in city as compared to any countryside then people living in the countryside will migrate to city areas right then another question is which type of methods are available for population estimation right so there are basically two types that is first one is mathematical or analytical and second one is the graphical method okay so we will be looking at each of this method one by one so let us have a look at which are the different forecasting methods in all total nine methods are there right so the first one is known as arithmetical increase method second one is known as geometrical increase method third one is known as incremental increase method fourth one is known as decreasing rate of growth method fifth one is known as simple graphical method Sixth one is known as graphical comparison method. Seventh one is known as zoning method. Eighth one is known as ratio and correlation method. And the last one is known as logistic curve method. Okay. So in this video, we will be discussing the method which is known as the arithmetical increase method. Okay. So let us start. So, in arithmetical increase method, this particular method is quite simple, but it is less accurate method. Okay. So, this is on the assumption that the population is increasing from decade to decade at a constant rate. Right. Thus, change in population that is dp with respect to time that is dt is equals to constant c right now according to this method according to this method the future population 
can be found out by P equals to P0 plus N into I, right? Where P is the future population after say N years, right? Then P0 is the present population right n is the number of decades and i will be equals to average increase okay so you will get a better clarity when we will solve the numerical okay so let us now move towards the numerical so the question says that find out the population in the year 2000 and 2010 by arithmetical increase method okay so they have given a table right where the first column shows year and the second column shows population so in the year 1960 the population is 7000 in 1970 population is 11000 in 1980 the population is 16000 and in 1990 population is 22500 right so we need to find out what will be the population in the year 2000 and what will be the population in the year 2010 right so here we are given the last population that is 1990 in the year 1990 population is 22500 right so what was the formula p equals to p0 plus n i right so p0 can you guess what will be the p0 yes the p0 will be 22500 right now n is the number of decades right so from 1990 to 2000 right how many decades will be there n will be equals to 1 right and for 2010 the decade from 1990 to 2010 this will be equals to n equals to 2. Now, we are only left to find out what is the value of i, right? So, let us find out. So, you will have to make a table like this, right? So, in the year 1960, 1960, the population was 7000, right? Then, in 1970, the population was 11,000. Then in 1980, the population was 16,000. And in 1990, the population was 22,500. Right? So, for the first year, there can't be any kind of increase in population. So, the first value will be dash. Right? Now, with respect to 1960, the increase in population is to be found out right so we can say that with respect to 1960 the population in the year 1970 will be 11,000 minus 7,000 right 11,000 minus 7,000 and that will be equals to 4,000 agree right then with respect to 1970, the increase in population in 1980 will be equals to 16,000 minus 11,000. Agree? 16,000 minus 11,000. So, that is equals to 5,000. Right? And similarly, here, this will be equals to 22,500 minus 16,000. Right? So, this will be equals to 6500, right? So, here we can say 
that total increase in population will be equals to 4000 plus 5000 plus 6500 that is equals to 15500 right and therefore we can say that average increase will be equals to 15500 divided by 3 why 3 because total increase are only 3 increase number 1 number 2 and number 3 right so average will be equals to 15500 divided by 3 which is approximately equals to 5166 right so this much is clear and this value is nothing but capital I you got it right so let us find out the value so for the year 2000 For the year 2000, n will be equals to 1, right? And for the year 2010, n will be equals to 2, right? So, for population, for population in the year, 2000 P 2000 will be equals to P 0 plus N I can I write right then P 0 was equals to 22,500 N will be equals to 1 and I we found out was 5166 right so this value comes out to be equals to 27,666 right similarly P2010 that is the population in the year 2010 P0 plus NI P0 as it is 22,500 plus 2 N is equals to 2 and I will be same so this will be equals to 32,832 right so we can say that answer is population in the year 2000 will be equals to 27,666 and population in the year 2010 will be equals to 32,832 so this will be your final answer right i hope you might have understood okay so we will be seeing the next method in the next video